always, always on the Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. And this time we're going to be talking about um, comparing and ordering integers. So I have a little graphic here, and it's actually um, what we call a cross section of the Earth. And what it's showing is you know, the height uh, and depth of, of the Earth's surface. Um, we're talking from the bottom of the ocean all the way to the highest point on Earth. And we're using meters here. And I don't know if you can notice on the sides, but if we're talking above something we call sea level, which I'll talk about in a sec, you might notice that these are positive integers. And if we're talking below something called sea level, these are negative integers. And I hope that makes sense. Well, sea level is the same all over the earth. And so we can use that as a definite, you know, this is how high the sea is. And so we kind of consider this to be a zero, okay? And so if we're talking about points where you live, you could say, well, I live at an elevation of maybe here, I'm at, you know, 2,500 meters. And if we compare it to the highest point above sea level, which is 8,848, uh, the highest point of Mount Everest, you can tell it's pretty high. But let's go the opposite way. Below, we have all the way down to 10,000. Well, if you look here, the greatest depth in the ocean is the Mariana Trench, and it's negative 10,000, almost 11,000 meters. So that is deeper. So if we were to flip Mount Everest upside down, it would actually be deeper or taller than Mount Everest, which is kind of crazy. Um, the other thing, and maybe you want to look this up on your own, is that the Dead Sea, which is on land, the lowest point on land is below sea level. So that's kind of strange that you can actually find a place on Earth where you could walk around and you're actually lower than sea level. And you can explore that on your own there. Okay. And so if uh, if you want to join in here, you can get an, your internet going, which you already do since you're watching the video, or an atlas. And let's talk about some different places on Earth. And so here I have uh, five places. You know, some are above sea level, some are below sea level. And I'm going to ask you here, could you order those? Um, can you order these from least to greatest? Don't worry about the two more elevations you can, if you want to add that in What are two other places you can find? But if you could order the five that I've given you from least to greatest, what would the order be? I'll let you pause there and figure that out All right now we should also talk about number lines We've talked about number lines a little bit, but we can use them to order integers but the other thing I want to talk about is something called greater than or less than symbols and so if I had maybe a three and I was comparing it to an eight well which is larger well obviously the eight is larger and so to show that we have to put a symbol here and this symbol is indicating that the eight is larger and if you want to think that an alligator always likes the bigger number you can you can go that way um, another way I've seen is, well, that's still larger and Pac-Man likes bigger numbers. You might want to go that route. Um, my teacher when I was young showed me, well, maybe you don't want to think like an alligator. Maybe you want to talk about birds. And here is its beak. Here is its head. And the bird actually always likes to eat the smaller number. It doesn't like to eat the bigger number. It can't swallow a whole big number. So here it's going to peck away at the smaller number. Whatever you like still doesn't matter that the sign doesn't change okay so three we say is less than we always read from left to right so we're going this way we read three is less than eight now how do we say greater than well if I erase all this and I said seven is greater than one seven is greater than one we always say the, the number first and compare it to the second number Okay, with that in mind, let's use this. Now I have a number line here, and you can see on the far left it's zero, far right it's 10, okay? So if I was to say, well, can you compare two and eight? Well, first thing I need to do is take and plot my two on the number line and my eight here. And if you look at this, would you say that, you know, we're talking, looking this way, the numbers get smaller, okay? And if you're talking looking this way, 
the numbers actually get larger. And that's kind of true. And I think you guys have, you know, done a lot of math with that, finding out what is bigger and what is smaller. Okay. And if I was to write this in a statement, I'd say two is less than eight. Okay. But let's increase the difficulty. Let's compare two, zero, seven, and three. So I'm going to erase that guy, get rid of this. We're still keeping that two. So two, zero, seven, and three. Now looking here, I want to compare them. So if I said from greatest to least, the number is on the farthest right again, that would be seven. So seven, okay, the next highest number is three. The next highest number is two. And the next highest number is zero. Okay, so from greatest to least, seven, three, two, zero. Okay, let's increase the difficulty again. Let's compare positive three and negative four. And this time, I've given you a number line where zero is not on the far left, it is actually negative 10 on the far left. And let's maybe just briefly talk about these arrows here. These arrows indicate something. And this means this number line will go on infinity to the left. It means this number line will go on infinity to the right. They go on forever, okay? We can't possibly show all the numbers, so we're just indicating that they still go on past that point, okay? We'd run out of room, we, we, we'd go around the earth many times if we kept doing our number line. Okay, so we're comparing positive three and negative four. Here's my positive three, and here's my negative four. Now, as a you know review of last time, if there's no positive sign in front of the number, we assume it is positive. Okay, now, the same concept applies the farther left we go, the smaller the number, and the farther right we go, the larger the number. So even though the, the digit four is larger than the digit three, it actually is smaller. I would say positive three is greater than negative four. Because remember, the farther left we go, the smaller the number, the farther right we go, the higher number. And if you want to look at this way, would you rather have in your wallet $3 or would you rather owe someone $4? Ah, I'd rather have $3. I have more money than owing, paying back someone $4. So we can say that that kind of works in real life there too. Okay, well, let's, let's add some stuff here. Let's compare positive three, negative four, and zero. So I'm going to erase this here, erase that. So I have my positive three, my negative four, and there is my zero, okay? Now, if I was to order these from least to greatest, least to greatest, smallest to largest, farthest left, negative four would be first, then zero, okay? Then my positive three. Zero is actually larger than negative four, okay? Again, if you want to use the money example, I'd rather not owe, I'd rather owe nobody any money than owe someone four dollars. Okay, so that can work too. Let's compare zero, positive one, negative two, positive three, negative four, and positive five. I'm going to go from left to right on my list. So there's zero, positive one, negative two, positive three, negative four, positive five. Okay, looking at that from greatest to least, biggest to smallest, what would the order be? I'm gonna let you pause there and figure that out. Okay, so if you recall, we always say the numbers going this way are larger and all the numbers going this way are smaller. And if we want greatest to least, my farthest number on the right is my positive five. The next number is three, the next number is one, next number is zero, then negative two, then negative four, okay? So that is my order from greatest to least from that number line uh, comparing. Okay, how about this one? Try this one on your own. Plus six, positive six, negative six, positive four, positive two, negative two. Pause there for a sec. See if you can figure out the order from least to greatest, least to greatest. Okay, so I'm gonna plot these in again. Positive six, negative six, and if you remember from last lesson, those are called opposite integers. There's equal distance from, from zero to that digit or that number, um, same distance. Same distance here, same distance here, we call them opposite integers. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Positive four, positive two, and negative two, again, opposite integers. Now I said least to greatest, so the farthest left would be negative six. Next would be negative two, then positive two, 
positive four and then positive six from least to greatest. Okay. Uh, I think I have one more example here, and I want we don't have a number line. Now, the reason I don't have a number line is, well, we're getting larger numbers here, and it's just really hard to fit it on. But keeping in mind where would the, where they go on the number line, use that information. Can you figure out what would be greatest to least, greatest to least in this situation? Okay, so if you don't have a number line, the, the concept you have to understand is, Remember the farthest left, farthest right. This is negative, positive. So the number, the digits keep increasing this way. So actually negative 18 would be our smallest number, okay? Even though the digits one and eight are larger, than let's say six, it's actually a smaller number, okay? What's the next smallest number? It's our negative 11. Then our negative four. And now I have my positive six and I have my positive 16. So from least to greatest, that would be the order. And I know it's kind of weird to think, wow, these, this number looks larger, but this symbol makes it smaller, okay? This negative 18 is in fact smaller than positive six, strange enough as it is. Okay, so using elevation and possibly owing someone money, you can see that negative integers, they, they do occur daily and again this is another example in life math happens so take care guys Bye. Bye.